society as Blues will get us underway. As I mentioned, the conditions could play a part. It is always one of these ground stoke that is often talked about as being a potential advantage for the hosts as they can deal with the conditions perhaps better than the away side, but how will Blues deal with it? Yeah, Woods has done a terrific job, hasn't he, since he came back. He was left out, got that sending off at Coventry. Um, wasn't playing at his best, but come back really well. Here's Lyle Taylor in the box. He's forced wide and hits the inside of the post. Well, he's convinced that he got a touch off. Bursic in the Stoke City goal. But we haven't seen uh, Taylor Richards at all yet, so, you know, Blues arguably could have four in the team themselves. Tyrese Campbell gets the low cross in. He's found Sam Klukas, who has fired it over. Kev is just full of energy, isn't he? And just seems to be that real go-to man between defending and attack. Isn't well, it? he just handles the ball so well, and Blues on the counter-attack here again. Here is Lyle Taylor, goes for goal himself, and Bursic saves, and then is able to get on the second ball as it bounces in front of him. Somewhat so far for Ryan Woods. Wilmot. Gardner cuts it out. Now he's on El Hernandez. First time we're going to see him today. Lovely feet, gets the ball across, it's a chance for Jordan James, who scores his first goal for Blues. Fantastic finish by the young man, and just 12 minutes in, Blues are in front at the Bet365 Stadium. Yeah, terrific play from Hernandez again, wasn't he? He's gone down that inside left channel, looks like he's look, shaping to shoot himself, really. You know, he's, Blues have nicked it just inside their half, a little bit of a loose pass from Wilmot. Uh, Gary Garner's done really well, but here's Hernandez, looks like he's shaping now. Is he going to shoot, is he? And then he cuts it back to James. First time finish, side foot, he's been learning off Lyle Taylor. Side foot finish, don't force it, just let it happen. He looked like he was going to score a number of times when he was in the side, James. I'm very surprised he, he isn't on three or four goals already in his Blues career. That time he's just really just placed it. It's an excellent finish and uh, Blues will be delighted with that. Well, that is a finish from a man who you would think was 27 years of age and not heading towards his early adolescence. Keep him in the blue for next season if there is a possible option for that. Here is Harwood Bellis, forward ball through to Campbell, who has remarkably stayed on side. Lucas will put it in again, it's gone off Graham into the box this time, and Jacob Brown has... They really are now starting to put their foot on the accelerator here, our Stoke. Tymon is going to shoot from range, and he hits the crossbar. Well... If this game is to stay at this point, we sort of 20 minutes to go, we're maybe going to see who really goes for it, maybe more than the other one in terms of the manager's side of it. Bellas Cross is good! And Lyle Taylor stretched as much as he could to try and steer it in. Baker. Timer. Now to Campbell. We're going to take on Pedersen here. Has he got room to shoot? He does shoot and scores! As they try and chase down this 2-1 deficit. Hernandez picked up beautifully by Woods. He's going to take on Wilmot, crosses in, and it's spilled by Bursic, and then he's put out for a corner kick. Jordan James. As we try and find Taylor, who has managed to stay on side. Cross goes in, not the best clearance is gone now! It's one of the Blue Bloods who equalises at the Bet365 Stadium. The captain comes in and puts it in. And Blues have responded just like Stoke City did in the first half. It's a fourth goal in the game and it's Gary Gardner to make it 2-2. Well, we said we could see another goal coming in. Blues, a fantastic response to going behind. You know, we saw that in the first half in the opening 15 minutes, but since going behind, suddenly Hernandez has come into the game. But that's a fantastic ball from James, that wonderful ball out to Taylor. Taylor does what Taylor wants in the box himself. He wants a ball feeding in, nice pace, you know, in a good area. To be fair to Gary Gardner, has done brilliant on that because the ball's bouncing up as he half follies it, keeps it down, and Gary Gardner's fifth goal of the season. I think it's his most productive season, you know, as a professional player, and certainly with the captain's armband, he, he's really earned that today. He's a fantastic goal, and again, another really well worked goal by Blues. Um, epitomises Blues. He gives absolutely everything every game. Header goes 
towards goal, and it was Harwood Bellis who went for it. It was in his locker in an abundance. Goes in, it's a high one, it's looping. Garner went for it, it's headed to Shunic. Bella, he'll put it in there. Pedersen's there and heads it wide. Oh, it was a great oh. opportunity for the day. New Graham throws it into Taylor. Low cross in there, it's away by Harwood Bellis. Right, Phillips gets up above Sunic. And that will be the last of the action at the Bet365 Stadium. As it's finished in a draw in Staffordshire, it is finished Stoke 2, Blues 2.